low percent, you mean, you know? <laughs> Um, yeah, I uh, will see if the assets, uh, sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought them to this, to this. And in order for you to believe your eyes, and not fictions. I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses, in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. Okay, okay. Bastard. Sin, hate. So where's the paranormal? <laughs> I searched the corners but didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers and find out the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so many years are true. They say that there are hosts of dead people in this place at the hands of one of the residents. He himself was never found, the bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place and those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true and to find evidence of this. In keeping with my tradition, I closed the doors of the building behind me so that there is no temptation to leave it. And I'm staying here for a few nights, recording a report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things and food with me. I actually think the English here makes more sense because it seems like we're playing like a blogger and from like US or from English speaking country. You know? I think it makes sense. Yes, the assets are in Russia. I got an achievement that's called Pioneer Lager Unist. Unist is youth in Russian. And by the way, Pioneers are like kind of boy scouts in, in Soviet Russia. Oh, holy shit, this blur is kind of crazy. Is this all right for you, chat, or is it like a bit too much? Is it possible to like reduce it? Shadows, uh, foliage, texture effects. Uh. All right, I'll try not to do like crazy movements. Высокое напряжение опасно для жизни. It says uh, high voltage, dangerous. This fuse is blown. There is no light in the building. Yeah, the, all the assets are in Russian. <laughs> this is the parent corner. This is what's called pa parent corner. In case of fire. Uh, call 01 immediately. O požari nemedlina sapšiti po telefonu 01. Uh, 01 is like old Soviet uh, fire uh, phone number. And why it's 01? Why it's 01? It's because if you're in the darkness and the dust, not the dust, if, if there's like f um, smoke around you, uh, you see this like OG phone, you always know that you need to do the the letter after the notch like plop and then the first letter before the notch so you could easily call zero one even in full darkness as long as you have the phone that's why it's zero one is uh the fire service <laughs> yeah that's very clever holy shit uh the one phone call costs uh, 15 kopecks so it's like uh 15 percent from one rubble 
<laughs> and it's basically just one coin, I guess. Very cool. <laughs> What's that? Come some old pravda. It's like old old Soviet uh, newspaper. Holy shit, there's an, like an actual text. You probably won't see it because of the low bitrate. But there is a whole fucking articles. Article. Like the small text, it's actually written. The texture is kind of blurry, but there's a whole fucking article. I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian English dictionary. I mean, I know what it what it says. <laughs> It's basically about uh, Soviet uh, Soviet Union launching the first ever satellite to the space. This is like the article is is about that about the first ever satellite. Yeah. Okay. I got the fuse. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's a video camera. Turn on night vision. Oh, I can zoom. Oh, there's the dictionary. English-Russian dictionary take. I was translating some Russian books in college and I took a Russian-English dictionary with me to help with translation. Local market. So, maybe we can take this. Oh yeah, investigation is underway on the disappearance of children and employees of the Unest Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955 under the leadership of director Maria Anatolievna. A. Hey. <clears throat> the suspect in this case is a child living in this camp. The name is Yakov Yasha. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him and where he's now is unknown. It's probably like the second article. Because like the, the, the main line of the uh, newsletter was about the satellite. I wonder if like the, the battery has limits. If the battery is limited. We had the same fucking shit in kindergarten, like, yeah, it's from 1958, but we had this shit in kindergarten. Like, uh, animals and fruits and grapes in our, like, lockers. Although I lived in a fucking village where everything was left from Soviet Union, so that makes sense. Look at that, this is space. Oh. The attic. Which one was yours? <laughs> I don't remember actually. It was either like a bear or some kind of a rabbit. It was mine. Seriously, I have to do it one by one. We ha you had the same in Hungary, yeah, I see. Oh no, Dodo, maybe you will die in this game. <laughs> Respect the work of cleaners, yeah. Уважайте труд уборщиц. А курки не бросать. Do not throw off cigarette butts. Cigarette butts? Isn't this how it's called in Russian? In English? Literally cigarette butts? Oh, this is like a playground. Yeah, we have those all over the all over Russia. What's there? Can I like crouch? Oh, I can crouch. Yeah. <sighs> you can. There are legends that there was an orphanage. Uh... Ходят легенды, что вблизи этого лагеря был приют для сирот. Там жила странная девочка, которая боялась воды. Она не мылась и не ходила на реку. Однажды старшие девочки решили над ней посмеяться, связали ей руки и облили водой. Она очень сильно испугалась и убежала. 
Много дней ее не могли найти и решили, что она мертва. Но однажды ночью она вернулась в пижаме вся мокрая и убила всех, кто над ней издевался. После этого ее дух в полнолуние появляется в ванной комнате. Holy fuck. Uh, there are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp. And there lived a strange girl who was afraid of war, and she didn't wash and did not go to the river. One day the older girls decided to laugh at her, tied her hands and poured water over her. She was very scary and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days and they decided that she was dead. But one night she came back to her pajamas, in her pajamas and all wet and killed everyone who bullied her. After that her spirit appears in the bathroom in the full moon. Yeah, this is exactly what's written in Russian. Very, very accurate translation actually. Oh, the lighter. First screamer. Very scary. Oh shit, my webcam is blocks everything. This is not good. Um I might just disable my lock cam my, my cam. Uh let's put it over here. How about this? And let's disable that. Let me know if it's still kind of good or bad. Cigarettes. No reaction faces, yeah. Like the whole point of playing scary games on stream, right? Otherwise I could have just enjoyed it myself. Another Komsomolskaya Pravda. About like some Kurt. Yep. Move it to the left, but keep on the... I can't move it to the left, because it's already to the left. Мусор в раковину не бросать. Don't throw garbage to the sink. Oh yeah, okay, there is like subtitles. Very convenient. Alright, I see. Uh, oh, there's like some kind of locker here. You can't open it though. Okay, that was like the first room. Can I like, oh yeah, can I like uh, run run around? Yeah, Mario, thanks for the GL GLHF, appreciate it. Let's, let's check if there's like, oh, there's no, okay, there's like no control options. Oh, there's some names. Pioneer растет смелым и не боится трудностей. The pioneer grows up brave and is not afraid of difficulties. С пионерским звонким маршем мы идем на помощь старшим. Yep. Pioneers with march go to help elders, something like that. Маша, Женя, Дима, Андрей. This is the names of children. Лена. Oh, book. What's that? Классика науки. The classic of science by Моисей Петрович Петров. This is the post. This is like the post box. Oh shit. Another photograph. Look at this photograph. Yeah, mailbox. Thanks. Oh, this is like a star. Op, 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 op. What's that? Я испугался и не знал, что это Че, что этим все закончится? Я доверял и верил ей. Моя подруга Аня, мне так жаль, прости меня за то, что не смог остановить это. I was scared and didn't know it would end there. I trusted her, my friend Anna. I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. Yes, this is exactly what it says. Pretty accurate translation so far. Ну, some kind of like science. Ударник коммунистического труда. Yeah, this is like kind of uh, science of honor. For being like very cool worker. This one is Yeah yeah the same thing. 
so much details, Druzhinik. Well, this is, will be hard to translate. It's basically some kind of a public service worker. This is how to work with the fire extinguisher. Oh my god, this is actually like fucking... I bet they took like a real instruction and just scanned it into a texture. It's very, very precise. Holy fuck, so many details so far. Every fucking corner is full with the details. I think I will play this game for a week. Yeah, the assets are incredibly made. For sure. This is ex extremely correct. Yeah, and it's not just blurry texture. This it's, it's like an actual text. I can read it. Well, it's uh, upside down, but you know what I mean. Ah, it's the same newspaper. Yeah. Oh, Pretivagas. I have no idea how it's called in English, though. Did someone feed cats here? Hey, plant player, hello. Gas mask, okay, thanks. In 1958, towards the end of the summer, parents called the camp to find out if everything was alright with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one, only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in the search for the missing children, but all in vain. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, yeah, the article is not, it's not about it. Yeah, there's nothing about the kids in, in the article. I guess they didn't think that Russians will play this game. But yeah, this is the newspaper about... Uh, yeah, about space satellite. More gas masks. Like, gas masks were actually, I think, in pioneer camps. Because, you know, everybody should be prepared to war. So kids were actually trained how to wear gas masks. Oh, a cat! Hello! Can I pet it? Can I pet it? Yo! X -x 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 -x. Can you look at me with your dead, probably dead eyes? I mean, cats are chilling, and we all know that cats uh, feel ghosts, right? So if cats are here, it means there are no ghosts. Easy, the problem solved. So can I, like, dismantle those? No? For real, though, hey. Maybe they can feed the cat? No? <laughs> oh, you beat it corner too, congrats. Maybe I can find some food for the cat. What's that? Oh, this is like light switcher. Light switch. Okay, let's go back. Oh, this is like Russian Thomas the Train. Pretty spooky shit. Fruit for cat. Oh, I, I have like an inventory, right? Like I... F How do I like open anything? I just literally call... Uh, all, pushing all the buttons. Oops, that was the wrong button. Oh, I think wreck is just like an asset, you know? I just uh, use it as a light, as a flashlight. <laughs> hey, magpie. Let's go back. Oh, yeah, I can, like, accelerate. Oh, holy shit, have you, see, have you heard it? As if somebody, like, ran away. I'm getting spooked out. I'm actually home alone today, like my wife is at her aunt with my daughter, so I'm, I'm actually all alone. Oh, holy fuck, this shit wasn't here. 
Hello, you're pretty scared. Boo, don't do the screamer thing. Or was it here? Am I like tripping? I'm pretty sure it wasn't here though. Is it just like one room where like literally everything happens? Well, there, there, there was like jump scare. There was just like, you know, a sound or just like it's very subtle, but the, the sound is very kind of the sound making it think like like this. You you see you, you hear? Did you hear it? I'm spooked out a little bit. Not gonna lie. Oh, there's a second cat here. They're purring. How did you hear? Do you hear the purr? Do you hear cats purring? Yeah, okay, I'm just chilling here. Fuck this game. <laughs> uh, this kind of comforts me, not gonna lie. They're just chilling here. Oh, yeah, 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 I have already read that. Yeah, yeah, he closed the doors, so he spends like entire night here. I'm, I'm playing for uh, as a, some kind of a blogger who kind of tries to find paranormal activity and doesn't believe shit. Oh. So it's not like... Ah! No! Cats! Cats! It will be dark soon. Need to look for candles. Who scared the fucking cats? No! Oh shit. Left control crouch. Oh, candles. Do you hear the Serena? Serena? Like the... The sound alerts. Take. What's that? Some kind of girls. Yeah. That's literally me. Somebody scared the fucking cats. Uh, we used to have... I haven't heard those alarms in a while though, but yeah, we, we have them from once once in a while. Or maybe they actually scared the cats. <laughs> no magpie, it's in the game. Uh, yeah, they stopped doing that a couple years ago too. Oh, oh, oh. I can light the candles now. Oh okay, yeah, let's do this. I had a zipper like uh... Oh, there's something else. Нужно взять в руки маленькое зеркало и стать напротив большого, чтобы получился коридор. Сказать три раза босоногая леди, покажи мне мою судьбу, а я взамен отдам свои туфли. You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times Barefoot lady, show me my face and I will give my shoes in return. Yeah. Girls in Russia love to guess in camps and believed in the existence of everything paranormal. Yeah, that's actually true. Well, not only girls, boys too. But yeah, kids in pioneer camps believed in all sorts of corrupt. 
Especially when it involves, you know, candles or mirrors in the middle of night and horror stories that we used to tell each other. <laughs> there was a time when I was like telling a horror story in the middle of night and it was dark as fog because uh, the lights uh, were off. And what I did is like I left my bed and I was continuing to tell us uh, to tell a horror story while uh, gradually reducing my the sound of my voice so it would appear like I am staying in one place. And then I like jump scared onto another guy <laughs> from like below his bed. This motherfucker shot his pants really hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Libby. That's true. Pioneer camps were cool. I was only once in one of them. Oh, yeah, I can lit the candles. Can I also do the ritual? Now I can spread out my sleeping bag. Uh, how can I do this though? Where can I get my... Hello? Yeah, it's gone, you see? This motherfucker, he was, he was here. Like the little rabbit. The, like the rabbit toy is gone Yeah, yeah, it wasn't here then it appeared and then it was gone So like no jump scares, but this shit is actually pretty spooky Surprisingly come October with the uh, holiday of October So how do I spread my sleeping bag? What do I do? Ah, here's my sleeping bag. Okay, okay, okay like right here done need to prepare for the night so what do i do okay loading night number oh holy shit that was just like an intro all right all right i got an achievement no time to sleep uh, where is my ah here's the camera Why would you not sleep here? Yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a video blogger. I need to farm views. Hey, Golemist. You also have some slightly country, I see. Oh my god, this shit is like here now. Oh wow, that... That grandma kind of looks, looks tired. It's creepy, yeah, yeah. Any jump scares? Hello. I'm waiting for the Five Nights at Freddy kind of bullshit. I mean, if this game gets me like jump scares like in Five Nights at Freddy, I would be kind of disappointed though. He's Doc Bespechny. Careless Rider. Ooh. Russian vodka and some kind of a beer from St. Petersburg. And the cigarettes called Leningrad, aka the old name for Saint Petersburg. But yeah, what, what did I say? I said that if now this game will try to spook me with like a jump scare, I will be a little bit disappointed because it kind of got me into high expectations of just like, you know, keeping yourself on the edge, keeping you on the edge, yeah. Because like jump scare is, uh, like jump scare is cr is scary, right? But it also gives you like a relief. And then you have to like get a build up for the next jump scare, and after a while they just stop working. All right, all right. This is cool. I kind of, um, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, 
All right. Who's there? Someone is knocking on the glass. I probably pass on that. Any jump scares? Yeah, I don't know. Night vision kind of sucks here. <laughs> uh, fuck you, Dodo. <laughs> Do you have those, like, rigs? Or just, like, random s r r sailors? Like, knocking on your door and like, Hello, this is Amway! With the gifts. So, where's... Oh, there was, like, a blown fuse, too. Dictionary. Let's take it. Uh, backseat situation. Oh, you, actually, you know, you can f you like feel free to backseat me all you want. Yeah, yeah. On, on this one, feel free to backseat me. It's definitely more of a like exploration game rather than a puzzle one. So yeah, yeah. Feel free to backseat me all you want. Good question. You can't write to lyric, but you're from Slavic country, so it's probably either. Uh, Poland, so Western Slavic, or it's Czech Republic, a bit more Eastern, or it's like Croatia. <laughs> uh, Poland, you're from Poland. That's cool. Is it the same article? Oh, it's a different article. The people are cheering. The people are happy. Uh. <laughs> because the country got more milk than ever before. This is hard to read, but I think it's uh, some kind of stats uh, for getting like the milk this year. Yeah. motherfuckers yeah i think you just like run around to the rooms and kind of hit triggers very scary ones fuck yeah this night vision fucking sucks where did you buy it like how can you go there like literally i would first throw a fucking grenade there before going here but no we can just like yeah We'll just go. Oh, this is fucking rabbit. Hello. Uh, yeah, sure. I will mirror. Well, almost mirror. I will write a bad review about this night vision device. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, flashlights and horror games always suck. The only horror game where flashlight is fucking rocks is Alan Wake. Alan Wake is has an amazing flashlight. There are actually like a weapons there. <laughs> Wait, here's the rabbit. A blogger would have a crap night vision device. Mm. I mean, I mean, you know, nobody donates the blogger. Blogger just doesn't have any stonks to buy a decent night vision. Oh no, somebody's closed the door. Bro, let me... I don't wanna die. Alright, alright. Well, I guess we're just... Oh no, and the rapid is gone now, for sure. Any screamers? Uh, I'm so ready for the screamer, man.
kind of a blown blown uh, light switcher oh we call this thing lampa ilicha so literally like a bulb of lenin it's where the bulb is hanging out from the from the ceiling without any you know <laughs> anything pretty around it oh no please don't Ah, this gas mask is fucking with me. They put ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, motherfucker. Oh, there's no there's no planks here. They're all opened. What the fuck? And it wasn't even fucking jump scare. It's a fucking <laughs> night vision camera. <laughs> night vision camera is dying on me. Oh, hello there. Somebody bonked me in the head? Or what? That was a girl, right? Oh my god, my head. Five Nights at Freddy. How did they get her? Uh, thanks, plant player, uh, for stopping by. Oh, I don't have a video camera. But yeah, there was a girl who bonked me in the head. I guess when your uh, enemy is a little girl, it's not that scary anymore, huh? Yeah, have a good night, plant player. Malaya Soviet Encyclopedia, small Soviet uh, encycl encyclopedia. There's some kind of how to keep the line tutorial, how to, you know, do the uh, honor thingy. Uh, celebration of 1st May, it's like a holiday of... Uh, like workers holiday. Hello, Mr. Pigeon. It's pretty easy to get out. It's just a window. Oh, chess. Chess board. What the fuck is it? It's like a peels? What are they? It's a... All sorts of peels. Anulfin. Anulfin. What the fuck is Anulfin? Let me google that. <laughs> Uh, I'm wonder what 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 this is about. Uh, ah, it's uh, imaginary medicine. It's not real. Okay, Google doesn't know anything about it. We we was we were scammed. Okay, what's here? I can't read what it says, I need to get my Russian English dictionary. Well, I guess who can? Поздно ночью, когда люди уснули. Не нужно веселье и не нужен шум. И пустозвоны бубенцы, и горечи полны глаза. Придворные не знают, что значит то веселье для шута. Решает шут, что хватит. И он в ту ночь, надев костюм печальный, Отравляет двор и короля. В душе тоска, но план тут не провальный. Не станет больше шут весельем для тебя. This is a poem. This is a poem. And this is a poem about a clown. This is a poem about a clown who is very, very sad and fed up with this shit. And when the clown becomes the most fed up with this shit, the clown takes on, well, yeah, the jester is the most correct, Leah thinks. The jester, when the jester becomes the most fed up with the shit, he puts on his uh, costume and poisons the king and entire, uh, entire uh, palace. This is what, it, what it's all about. And it's a pretty nice poem, pretty nicely written. I wonder if it's like from the real world. Or they just came up with it. 
you know. Because I'm not very educated, so if, if that's a reference, I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, this is like actually Russian hugs. Pioneer без лишних слов, малышу помочь готов. Pioneer will help a little child without asking, uh, like, you know, asking questions. Basically, Pioneer will always help a little child. Well, with lessons, that is. Reference to a band. There's a king and a jesters. You know, Bubo. <laughs> the king and a jester was formed like 40 years after the... After this game has ended. <laughs> but I guess you have a point. Maybe, maybe there is. Uh, there was a punk, like, punk rock band in Russia called uh, King and the Jester. It was very cool. But its uh, founder loved uh, cocaine a little bit too much, you know? That kind of rock story. Oh! This is a room. Oh my, what the fuck is that? It's like a dead deer. What the fuck is that? Can I like break? Like, now you can't break the planks when it's not convenient. <laughs> Fellas, your place, your plane with fire will lead to the fire. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joker, yeah. Hey, you see, there's a cat. Uh, it's breathing, so the cat is alive. It's just sleeping. But what the fuck is this? Some kind of an animal, right? Like a deer or something. Язык Тургенева, Толстого, Добролюдова, Чернышевского, Велик и Могуч, Владимир Ильич Ленин. Ленин said that the language of, well, Basically, Russian language is great and mighty. People who has a language like this is a great people. Uh, Maxim Gorky, another like Russian writer, uh, old old Russian writer, like a classic writer. So yeah, so far. Uh, <laughs> corpse looks edible. Well, not really. There's lots of lights around it. But so far we lost to a fucking girl. A girl knocked us out. That's pretty fucked up. A huge blogger. Hey, my video camera. There's some kind of a letter. You are not welcomed here, it says. Well, I will read it right now anyway. Because, you know... Uh, it's like written in kids, you know, writings. You're not welcome here. The one who hit me on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. Need to try to turn on the lights in the entire building. Yeah, I got the fuse. Новых успехов в космосе. New successes in the space. I guess new riches in the space. What's that? Is some kind of a... Okay. So I need to turn on the lights, but the electricity in this building is fucked up. Look at that. Holy shit. Don't throw the cigarette butts. Refund the game if both cats don't make it out 100% okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't know if, yeah it might have been her daddy or her like I don't know friend that sign won't stop me because I can't read yeah 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 <laughs> space suit with stars on it yeah that's pretty cool I mean I'm pretty sure there's a pajamas like that I'm 100% sure but yeah we have our uh, we have our what's that it's like a watch. Watch, see. Yeah. Okay, I'm just tripping. The fuse is. Me. I got the fuse. I mean, I got the fuse. Oh, well, here, here's. Is this the fuse? What's that? 
so confusing. What is oh okay it doesn't really look like a fuse to be honest. I I got the fuse here which was like well it was broken so maybe no Oh there's some other toys. Yeah I have fucked up fuse here yeah, exactly. So I got bonked on the head, but I didn't get killed, you know, so at least these kids don't want my ass like right away. Which means uh, maybe I will be able to be friends with them. Ah, all right, all right. Не бей ребенка. Это задержки, задерживает его развитие и портит характер. Holy fuck. Don't beat the kid. It slows down uh, their development and makes their uh, mood, like, makes the character worse. Don't hit the child. It delays its development, yeah. Its development, yeah. It, it says his development. But, I mean, Russia doesn't have gender-neutral uh, pronouns, so... Definitely not it. Got. Naivne sačinenie. Innocent uh, fiction. This is like a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of... Astro this is like astrology book. Psychoanalysis of the dream... Uh, like of the dreams. <laughs> yeah, Ripchansky. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Science and technique. This is like not kids book. That's the, the that's the thing, it's not for kids. Oh. Fuck is this? Ah, it's just like a light. Okay. This is not Soviet. This is like, you know, not quite Soviet because Soviet was extremely uh, atheistic. It wasn't, uh, wasn't really up to Soviet people to put stuff like that, especially in like pioneer camp, like what the fuck? Single newspaper like 25. Well, it actually makes sense because they took like a, a whole, you know, um, well, it's called tirage, like, right? And they just use it as as a throwaway paper. It, it's actually a very Russian thing to do. We, we did this all the time. We never had like proper sheets. We just always used old newspapers. And a lot of them were the same ones. So, yeah, yeah I, I mean, they probably make it to uh, spare development time, like game development time, but it actually kind of makes sense. Okay, 29th was Tuesday. The writer uh, Nikolai Ostrovsky was born 29th of... It's like January, yeah. That's cool, that's like an actual calendar here, with an actual writings, so you can read it if you squint. Makulatur, in German too. I won't be surprised if Buja just kind of stalls. Yeah, yeah, I kind of, I kind of, kind of thought as well, like, these sockets are too modern, moder modern. They're too thin, they have to be thicker to be Soviet. Maybe these kids that are running around, they're like a good electricians. I'm pretty sure this motherfucker will will have its play in this game. It's it's way too creepy to throw away. Okay, okay, okay. the new room. Need to look this room. Yeah, thanks. Oh, look at that. Of course it won't work. Why would it work? Need to find the fuse. Sachem Portish. Why do you break it? <laughs> the 
the director of the Pioneer Camp Unist, Maria Anatolievna Eya, disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 till 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted their children to her. You know, it, it gives like the vibe of that orphanage director from Skyrim. She was probably like fucked up and uh, she probably abused the children. That's my uh, very educated and definitely not stereotypic uh, guess. You know what I mean. Look, the fox. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Будь чист, опрятен пионер, показывай во всем пример. Be clean and neat pioneer, show an example in everything. Yeah. Yeah, basically don't be a dirty fuck. This is it dead crows? Yeah. Look, it has fucking decapitated wings or something. Well, decapitated means head, but yeah, the, the, the wings is kind of cut out of, of it. What's that? Yeah, this is just like a playground. Oh, 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 I got a fuse. Yeah, most likely. Pit it. Oh, sorry, hello. <laughs> Kinda missed you. Need to take the box to the sleeping bag. I took it. I'll probably have to like throw it away because there will be like a screamer that will force me. But we'll see. What's that? Look at here's like a hand. The Dark Brotherhood knows. <laughs> yeah, it's my turn to use brain cell Ripchansky. Sorry. Was it just a sound screamer without any like cue? <laughs> hey Ziva Point, hello. Ah, it's the same sign that we've already read read. Right, let's let's fix the shit. Turn on the light. Oh, the light is in like another room. What the fuck? Is there no light here? <laughs> For one Russian horror. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm a sucker for Elder Scrolls games, not gonna lie. And Todd Howard can't ruin my childhood. Let's go. The radio is working now. Let's listen to the radio. <laughs> okay, let's listen to it. What's my PB? My PB is only one change pant so far so far. Okay, we have a soundtrack now. Yeah, it was main switch. Which kinda makes sense. A местное время 9 часов 15 минут. I can just turn it off if I can, if I want. That's cool. I guess I can just, uh, you know, fix all the lighting. I think this is like a simul simulator of an electrician, you know, electrician simulator. 
go to bed, it'll be dark soon. Yeah, I mean, you know, the motherfucker got knocked out by somewhere in the middle of night and yeah, I will guess I'll just go sleep in the same exact place, not going to, like, to ask for help or anything. I mean, subscribers would be mad about new video. Sure, man. I'm playing like as a stupid clickbait video blogger. I'm so pissed. <laughs> One second. Uh, I'm playing as a video blogger who is apparently not very smart. Well, no, I don't want to sleep. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Can I maybe like put on a couple more, more like light bulbs or so? This girl will just come back and undo all my work. You know what I mean? Let's actually see if any other room has changed before we, we continue. What's this? He wants to sleep. Fuck you, you won't sleep. Or will he just, you know... Oh, it's not even the first floor, right? It's like the second floor, apparently. At least uh, the background looks like it's the second or even the third floor. A stereotypical horror protagonist, yeah, not very smart. <laughs> I mean, the policeman, I mean, unless he was absolutely fucked up, will probably not do anything wrong to a children. He will just, you know, call your parents and will talk to your parents. But we did the same. We climbed onto an abandoned building and were caught by a policeman too. Okay, let's just sleep. Night 2. The clock stopped at 3.07. Uh, why did the clock stop? I mean, the lights are still working. That's kind of cool. Parent corner, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like uh, pretend that uh, it's, it's nothing spooky is happening. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Magpie. Like, there's a fucking dead deer in the room, in the next room, which is actually pretty fresh if you think about it. Like, there are still flies. So the fucking deer <coughs> went all the way, like, third floor, died from some reason. And it's now just laying down there, and this motherfucker just, yep, yeah, let's just sleep. I, uh, like, at the beginning of the game, he said that he spent a couple nights in other scary places. Oh, I haven't seen that. And he didn't find any ghosts. I'm pretty sure he actually found some ghosts, he just ignored them, because he was too stupid to realize it, there were ghosts. Yeah, so there's like a pioneer camp, right? They're kind of old for pioneers, though. It's more like a high schoolers. Like, 16 years... <sighs> 1946. Maybe it's actually an orphanage. It may be an orphanage. <clears throat> so the deer was dragged here. I mean, he might... Yeah, it's another uh, fictional medicine, probably. I was debated one. I won't Google another medicine. I mean, there's lights, right? Who's there? Hello. Yeah, sure. Yeah, night vision. Oh. Yeah, sure, night vision extremely, extremely helpful here. Holy fuck, how could I forget? Any screamers through the window? Hello? Missed opportunity, wink, wink. Amazing night vision. Fucking amazing, like, can't see shit. 
Oh, somebody has cleaned the mess. Ah, oh, no, no, this is another room. Like a different room. Any screamers? I'm prepared, just so you know. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Get on your fucking radio, holy shit. Don't be such a dick. Oh, this is like a, you know, nighttime song. A uh, lullaby, yeah, I remember the word. I know English, thank you very much. Professional streamer. What was that? Chiburashka? Have you ever seen this toy? Like a very popular uh, character called Chiburashka? I want to run from Chiburashka. Chiburashka is... He's like kind. I mean, he, he's, he's chill, like... He's not fucked up. I would never run away from Chiburashka. It comforts me. I mean, he, he comforts me. Hello. Don't ruin my childhood, please. Don't be a fucking... Ah, yeah! This screamer is not as scary, by the way. Oh, holy fuck, hello? Mm, yep. I guess it's getting a bit more explicit. Let's close, close the door, I don't trust it. Oh, now you're open. Well, at least they clean up the mess. So, we take those. This box... Is this the only thing that caught your fucking attention? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? There was two fucking ghosts and somebody dragged away a corpse of a fucking Jira. Oh, this box wasn't here before. Let's check it out. <laughs> It's locked. Uh, this is a small box, you can just like break it in half. <laughs> oh, I think they got the essence of a modern like YouTube content creator very, very accurately, I would say. Like, <laughs> it's definitely not a bad writing. If anything, this is fucking genius. Uh, fucking ghost runs in front of you. Let's check the box. <sighs> ah, I don't give a shit. Oh, the no, I don't. I give a shit. Spy spare light bulbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now it's closed. Okay, okay. <laughs> Open a box with force. Need bottle openers to unscrew a lid. I mean, this is an opportunity for an unboxing video. Of course they would open it, one way or the other. It's just an unboxing. Let's get the light bulb. But first, let's check out this room. I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. Well, yeah, there's actually nothing here. Uh, where's the ghosts? Wow. Somebody is fucking pissing. Is somebody... Oh, holy shit, the, the little doll is here now. Oh, oh what's that? A watch? All right, yeah. Some kind of watch here. Nivalashk. Never falling doll. 
Okay, somebody's like pissing in the toilet. I mean, it's Pioneer Camp. Uh, kids might be pissing, so the grown ass adult, of course, needs to check it out. Who's like taking a piss there? Excuse me for an intervention. Can you stop taking a piss here? So what are we doing next? I assume we need to go like turn off the lullaby or something. Uh, yeah, they moved to the doll. <laughs> Electric Petrovich simulator, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Dodo. <laughs> uh, now we're playing not as a video blogger, as a fucking electrician. The only thing we need is a bottle of vodka. By the way, the bottle of vodka was there. If I am able to drink it, I will be an... Oh, holy shit, I haven't. This is an actual jester, so... The jester was taking a piece. Was it the jester that poisoned everyone? <laughs> Smoking sign in the children's toilet. That's a very good question. It's kind of fucked up though, right? And so, and now it disappeared. But there's like a chair now. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, it's of course. Yeah, somebody moved a fucking like closet while I was looking at the box. Yep. Now I should hang out myself or what? Can I like jump? Maybe I should watch it that again. Then. Ah, yeah. So what am I gonna do now? I suspect that I need to turn off the camera and then I will get scared. Okay, scare me. You have one chance. Ooh. For you though, what am I gonna do? <laughs> ah, yeah, very scary. Another Five Nights at Freddy's spooky thingy. Where's the girl now? The, the last time it happened, there was a girl. Okay, where's the girl? Boo. <laughs> yeah, half a second of uh, uh, a Zeno. <laughs> this isn't Outlast, yeah, this is uh, Summer of 58. And I missed the opportunity to eat the doll. Ah, another spooky thingy, yeah. He went right through me and I guess he penetrated me, technically speaking. Yes, Ripchansky, this is true. This game is very uneven. It, 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 it turned, it, it really like kind of dances between a very atmospheric shit and yeah kind of cheap horror game I guess we go in here oh yeah somebody's breathing here let's check it out hello I want to get scared oh it's there yeah 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 let's let's do this hello I want to get scared a lot <laughs> oh no, I think I got locked. Hmm. Oh, beer. Cigarettes. And then that's it. All right, let's check the ghost. Hello, I'm here. I'm ready to be fucked up. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually wasn't scary at all. I mean, it was like, you know, at this point, it's kind of predictable. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, where's Chiburashka? Chiburashka? Oh, he's here. Uh, the only thing that comforts me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It, it wasn't as clear here before. Somebody kind of get changed here. They keep like changing the place placement of like, you know, the dolls. And the... I guess, yeah, I guess it's only the dolls, different dolls. Yeah, this this doll gets gets changed a lot. It gets like moved. Yes, your point. You you have a good point actually. Without a mess I would be ah, it's just two of them here. Yeah. Hmm. I think there's just multiple gas masks, so this one stays. <laughs> you have a point, yeah, hence the username. I see how it goes. Hmm, alright, so we're chilling here then. We need another spook. Can I interact with Chiburashka? No, I can't. I probably need to find the key. Oh yeah, Zeno, this is actually this is all these fire uh, violations and also the posters that uh, don't play with fire, <laughs> you will get burned. Oh, here's a key, easy. What's that? From 1950, a loud scandal in an orphanage for orphans. The nurse cruelly mocked the residents. One of the employees reported violations of authority. authority. A decision is made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was open since 1944. Children who were left without parents during a war lived there. Hmm. Interesting, yeah? Like, so the director of the orphanage... Uh, is bad so what do we do we just close the orphanage because apparently we can't hire anyone else this is very very soviet thing to do <clears throat> well actually no i won't look to the left or to the right i will go straight into built for orphans by orphans <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah orphanage for orphans <laughs> tremendous translation achievement <laughs> yes <laughs> kind of. Oh again, this phone. Oh, the diary. Dear diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years, so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up. I haven't read it. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't know there's a cooldown, what the fuck? After a severe thunderstorm, there is no light in the building. Oh wait, is... am I playing like an... Like a director now? Poppy play time game. Oh, it's when you like get locked out in a factory, right? Yeah, Rick stinks. What's that? It's like a flashlight. Yeah. Oh yeah, now I'm playing like a director or something. Yeah, so now this is like the camp is alive. Or am I playing as the same person? What? Am I like got... Did I get like Harry Potter when he got inside of the fucking uh, Voldemort diary? Yes, yeah, you know, that, that's a good point. Anya. Anya, Anya is a girl's name. 
Oh. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a hair transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided to not, not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. Yeah, that's kinda harsh. Oh, there's a safe. Orphanage with a lot of healthy hearts. Uh, any screamers? I, I'm, I don't want to get whether I'm still playing by the blogger or if it's kind of, you know, like a flashback where I am uh, the woman who runs the this place. Because it's kind of nice now. Yeah. I play ground with the fox. Oh! So how much do I wait? It's like a wait. <laughs> yeah, because it's a Soviet flashlight. No, children and caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. Ah, yeah, so it's it's a flashback. The lights got fucked because of this because of the storm. Oh, bicycle. I had like I had one like that when I was a kid. Yeah, I had uh, a bicycle like that. Or I guess it's a tricycle. There's a duck toy. Is it a duck? It's a horse. Or where? Here? Where's the duck? Oh, he, maybe he, no. Yeah, it's a horse. So rip. All right. Oh, somebody pulled up a thingy. What's that? Can I like get there? No, I can't get there. Oh, I can. Right. <coughs> Anya, нам нужно бежать. Это все из-за директора. Из-за директора. It's it's like it's it's written with the gra grammar mistakes, you know, as if would uh, really uh, kid would would write it. It's it's very like it's it's very cool. Yeah yeah yeah. As if a little kid was actually right it. Я шпи шпионил за ней. Она с кем то разговаривала о чем то плохом. Ты должна мне поверить. Предупреди всех. У нас мало времени. Пока я спрятал ее ключ у себя в шкафу. Мы можем успеть. Помоги мне. Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hit her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. Um, yeah, th this is actually the first time when translation actually kind of bad. Because uh, yeah, it, it, it ruins the, uh, you know, the way the kid actually wrote it. What an asshole. <laughs> Uh, what was it like, Yakov, right? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, Yakov. The key to the safe. Ooh, what's that? It's kind of cool. Uh, it's just um, he. Uh, kind of took the word and he moved the last letter to the next line. It's like against the grammar. Yes, yeah, Zeno. So it's like just against the... You filthy child! Where are you, Yakov? Yakov, you motherfucker! I'll fuck you up! Come here, you bitch! You fucking... fucking bastards... Uh, fucking... Yakov, you little piece of fucking cunt. <laughs> Yakov Parasite stole a second gas cylinder. <laughs> um, 
like uh, Russian, yeah, Russians call kids parasites. Like, uh, you know, when when they do something naughty. <laughs> Play as an insane child murdering principal. <laughs> I mean, now this game is again cool. Spina Grizzly. Yeah. Oh, this is my diary. Special boy Yakov came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives. And he became my favorite because he's so similar to my son Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak. But he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon I had to meet with Alexei Sergeyevich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. This day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then return back. What? What? The fuck? Uh, all the kids go to surgery? Uh, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. The filter is missing and the glass is broken. He ruined my gas mask. Oh, so you can't spray your gas, you little cunt. <laughs> we worked together with Alexei Sergeyevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. And Alexei Sergeyevich will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. Oh, that's fucked up. Alright, alright. Yeah, it's actually like children... Oh. You little fucking cunt! What the fuck is this face? Do you see it? Come here, you fucking asshole. That was... You need to put the gas cylinder under the door to, and go back to the classroom. Uh... Okay, I'm playing like a children murdering principal who fucking sells kids for fucking organs. Oh, and yeah, siren. Ivan, I'll save you soon. Ah, it's, it's she's speaking. Apparently, be, like she couldn't cope with uh, her son being. Uh, Deadly ill and she just kind of lost her mind. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Somebody put on a second one. Yeah. And now she's like tripping. Five Nights at Freddy but reverse, yeah. No. Yeah. And I, apparently kids like got her... Kids like got her, you know. <laughs> Kids uncovered her plan. Oh, this is all my stuff. I mean, in this case, like, so kids probably were able to stood up for themselves, or what, or not, or maybe they like all died together with her. Like, this story would be so much better without, like, cheap screamers, holy fuck. <laughs> Did this happen to the blogger? Does MC know what happened now? 
Well, we'll find out. Um, we'll find out. This is all fucked up now. Maria's diary, yeah. Oh, I don't need a dictionary anymore, apparently. What's that? It's like a pen. But I can get this. Well, I mean, now I can uh, tell to the kids that I am not Alexei Sergeyevich and I don't need their kidneys. Hey kids, I'm not the fucking bastard that will try to uh, get your kidneys. I'm, I'm, I'm a good guy. I'm just, you know, I'm just farming views on YouTube. Тебе же сказали, чтобы ты убирался отсюда. Оставь в покое это... You were told cross out. You know what cross out? The word сука cross out. So the word bitch. Тебе же сказали bitch, чтобы ты убирался отсюда. Leave this place alone. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside of the door. Empty pages. Oh, so I can take a pen. I can take the diary. And the dictionary. No. Can I take the pen? Okay. Я знаю, что здесь произошло. Позвольте мне помочь вам. Расскажите мне, кто вы. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me who are you. Yeah. Тебе же сказали, сука. You were told, bitch. The fuck on here. It's locked. There's someone behind it. Okay. I got a phone call. I need to answer. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. There's like this fucking rabbit. That's, it's absolutely fucking scary. Hey, what the fuck? He just distracted me. Holy shit. I got absolutely jibated by them kids. Oh, Fuse is still there though, which is nice. How do I answer the phone? I got jibated again by this... Oh, 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 oh. Matryoshka. Look at the Matryoshka. It's pretty nice. Ah! Another screamer, very cheap. Should try writing the letter again. Yeah, yeah, of course, it will definitely work. Я прочитал, что здесь были убиты люди. Это вы сделали? Расскажите мне, и тогда я смогу вам помочь. I read that people will kill you. Did you do that? Did you, did you, tell me and then I can help you. Take. <laughs> We get paid for having to view them. Yeah, I, this is like the, the thing. This game could be so much more. Cheap screamers kind of kill the atmosphere, not gonna lie. They can read, right? Yeah, they should be able to read. Give me the answer, you bitch. Will you distract me with fucking phone? I won't I won't get jibated. Yeah. Yeah, like there's exactly like a great parts uh, get mixed up with like very mediocre parts and the whole experience. It doesn't get ruined, but it's kind of, you know. Меня обвинили, но я этого не делал. Уходи отсюда. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. I mean, her laughter was very friendly, so you know. Like... Oh, Heidi. Тебя зовут Яков? Ты живешь здесь один уже много лет?
Doesn't mean that Yakov actually like lived here this whole time and he was eating a fucking de deer, like fucking deer. Snacking on that DRC yeah. gears. Sigma Grinder. <laughs> Stupid protagonist until next time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have fun, Dodo. Uh, have a good night, I guess. I appreciate uh, hanging around. I'll see you soon. What was that? Oh, post. Is that it's like a phone and a child? Let's take here. Holy shit, the whole poem. Да, здесь я могу общаться со своими друзьями. Мы охраняем это место, потому что наш дом. Много кто сюда приходил только чтобы поломать наши вещи. Но друзья мне помогают прогнать чужих. Я боюсь, что кто-то меня увидит и расскажет, что здесь живут те люди, придут за мной. I have. Yes, here I communicate with my friends. Uh, well, it's like, yes, I can talk with my friends here. We guard this place because this is our house. Many people have come here only to break our things. But my friends help me to uh, toss them away, like drive away, yeah. I'm afraid that somebody will see me and tell everybody that I am living here and those people will come for me. This is like an accurate translation. <clears throat> yeah, this guy would be like 60. Unless he's an actual ghost, you know. Кто твои друзья? Почему они тоже здесь? Ах, holy fuck, you're not very smart, yeah, right? Like this Yakov, uh, he he writes like a little boy, but he's probably like smarter than the main protagonist. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> <coughs> Духи этого места, те, кого здесь мучили, они остались тут в заперти. В этот день вечером после отбоя кто-то пришел, наверное, это был тот человек, с которым говорила директор. Но он не нашел меня. Я думаю, что из-за этого он отравил всех проживающих и директора. The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here. That day in the evening after lights out, someone came, probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this he poisoned all the residents and the director. Yeah, yeah, like, the translation is accurate in terms that it conveys what he actually wrote, but it completely misses the way he wrote that, because he actually writes like a kid, you know, with all the mistakes that children usually do. So yeah, like the vibe with which he writes is completely missed in the translation. So he he, he writes like a chi like a child, like six years old, v like very simple sentences and lots of like silly mistakes. Yeah. And uh, this boy says that he doesn't he didn't do it. That somebody else poisoned everyone. Yeah, 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 Riggs. Probably that's probably like somebody got hired by the publisher. Most likely. Obana. Все это задумала директор лагеря? О ком, чем ты говоришь? С каким человеком она говорила? All this was planned by the director of the camp? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Not what kind of person, uh, 
who exactly was she talking to? Somebody named Alexei Sergeyevich, right? Fucking kidney eater or I don't know. Holy fuck, okay, that was, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, I mean, you know the deal. Oh, hey, uh, holy shit, Underlane was actually streaming. Real Underlane stream. Hello, hello. Hey, nobody. What were you streaming, though? Hey, all. Hello, we're, we're playing Spooky Soviet game. <laughs> a real under stream that I've missed. Wow. <laughs> Mountain climbing simulator. Damn. But yeah, uh, I guess welcome back officially on Twitch. And yeah. Welcome, welcome to Sim. We're playing a Soviet spooky game which is called Summer of 58 about abandoned pioneer camp with fucking ghosts or maybe not really. О, oh, вау, wow. this is actually a poem. Это все она. Я видел, как наша директор разговаривала с кем-то в старой больнице недалеко от лагеря. Они договаривались о том, что ночью выполнят свою работу. Тогда я понял, что это связано с нами, но не смог всех предупредить. Я не видел, кто еще там был, потому что испугался и спрятался. Утром я зашел в здание и никого не нашел. Ее сейфа тоже не было. Я подумал, что тот человек со своими помощниками всех унесли и спрятали тела в том здании. Мне пришлось остаться и жить в вентиляции, только иногда выходить в комнаты. О, oh, shit. It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation, only sometimes go to the rooms. Well, I guess it's not ghost, it's actually like... 60, like 70 year old guys who lives in the ventilation. That's kind of fucked though. And so it wasn't him who poisoned everyone. It was actually somebody else. I wonder how many pages uh, it, it still has. Yeah, game is insanely pretty. It has so many little details like all these, uh, you know, Soviet posters like that and all, all this stuff is very, very nostalgic to me. I didn't live in 58, but our school looked exactly the same because it like, was Soviet. То здание заброшено, я смогу туда попасть. That building abandoned? Is that building abandoned? Can I get there? Yeah. I mean, motherfucker just opened the door. Let us talk. I guess he's like Russian, so he won't speak English. Oh no, I don't like the sound. He will like throw a fucking grenade into me. Yakov doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. Need to tear the boards of the front door. Yeah, I hope that somebody will like, you know. I need to take this, yeah. Well, I guess it's a living human being that lived here this entire time and I just need to get out of here. But there was like actually somebody else, like a girl or whatever it is. Can I get take that? No, I can't. All right, Yakov, 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 Yasha. And the game is very pretty, and 
at, at times it's very cool and atmospheric, but at times there's just like cheap screamers. I guess I've heard that it's a solo project, so for a solo project, it's nice. Like, I won't cheat on that. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. It's, it's a cool game. Night 3. I guess I'm an abandoned hospital right now. Right? Yeah, Yakov said that I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. So yeah, I'm in uh, in a hospital. I think it was a solo project. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure though. <clears throat> it's like... What was that? Like, was it solo project? Let's see. MK... Um, MK Games. Uh, it's like... They have Instagram. Development of a horror game. Solo project. Yeah, it's called so. It, it's a solo project, but I mean, you know... His name is Alexander Reshetnikov. Yeah. He actually makes solo games. Yeah, it's a single death. It's a so solo game developer from Russia. So yeah, like for a solo project, it's absolutely incredible. Like all the attention to detail. I mean, I just came here. Ah, so it's an entrance. Like I, I guess of course he can like you know technically hire artists and all that. But I mean the direction. Mikhail Sergeyevich Gorbachev. It's like the last Soviet president. Well. <clears throat> The last ruler of the Soviet Union. What's that? A human in space. This is Yuri Gagarin. Великая победа разума и труда. Мир рукоплечит Юрию Гагарину. The great victory of mind and work. The uh, world is upload applauses to Yuri Gagarin. And this is about a trial. Apparently in like that, about that pioneer camp. Oh, somebody pissed on this, this bed top. I mean, translation can could still be done by the publisher or something. It's very atmospheric game if you ignore like screamers, like cheap screamers with ghosts. Somebody's coming here. Yeah, there was like multiple yeah cheap cheap jump scares like in your face, you know. Somebody's walking there. Hello. Yeah, some of the jump scares were kind of neat, like in the corner, you know. But some of them were kind of, kind of meh. Uh, Billy Vaya, it's uh, there's like uh, bed sheets, basically, in the room for bed sheets.
Somebody's fucking walking there. I need to throw this shit away. I want to meet the demons of this place. I have a shitty night vision. I don't give a shit. Курить на лестничных клетках и холлах запрещается. Basically no smoking around here. It would be cool if, like, you know, somebody is walking towards me, but he, like, stuck in the textures and can't approach the trigger. You know, this kind of deal. <laughs> Малая операционная. This is, like, operational. Like, small operational. Like, lesser operational. Behind the card. Something like liturgy. Let's go check it out. <clears throat> oh, by the way, as I said before, like, feel free to backseat me on this game, since, you know, it's... Since it's more of an exploration game rather than a puzzle one. Where's the... Behind the card, something like letter G. Oh, it's a cross, it's just like, you know, like a Jesus. Which is actually weird, because, again, Soviet Union was extremely atheistic, and... Uh, stuff like that isn't, like, you know, normal. Maybe just for the atmosphere. But yeah, just, just uh, so you know, it's not very authentic, I would say. Like, somebody is there. Do you hear? Yeah, a lot of monasteries got repurposed or just closed, you know, or even just, you know, fucking scavenged. <laughs> Another cross. Seriously, is that like a glitch? Or maybe I need to like look around a bit more. Just so you know, like hit the trigger. Maybe we need to like What the fuck? I'd like to help, but I can't. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Just run around to trigger in random triggers. Oh, oh my god. All right. Nineteen forty-six. After the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military. I don't want really to dismiss this paper because I feel like while I'm reading here, I'm pretty safe. You know. I don't really want it. Hmm. Any screamers in the window? Oh, you actually hide <laughs> behind the paper. Yeah. You actually might be right. I I just didn't look uh, because there's a lot of stuff like that. Just like scrambled on the. dog sniffing my ears. Well, that would be comforting. By the way, speaking of comfortable thing, where's Chiburashka? My beloved. Truth. 
встреча в Кремле. The meeting in Kremlin. Why apparently I slap on my monitor of the Kremlin up a little bit. Stream with Chibrashka years, yeah. Somebody get made a uh, costume, I will be Chiburashka. Yep, totally normal doll, nothing wrong about it. All uh, hair got pulled out. Yep, that's how it goes, you know. Why is night vision so absolutely bad? <laughs> the doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. Yes, we've actually figured that out ourselves, that the fucking doctor was selling kids for organs. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnosis and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed, the building became abandoned. <laughs> yeah, we actually figured this out, but detained only for six years in Soviet Union he would be either you know shot to death especially after war or he would like got thrown to gulag <laughs> six years is too small it's not quite a realistic uh, sentence especially at the time but yeah all right motherfuckers loved kidneys we know we know we, we actually got figured this out. What next? Can I like... Uh, just move this away? No, I can't. Kids these days having two kidneys. Yep. Соблюдайте тишину. Be quiet. Oh yes, stay quiet. Or I guess yeah, keep quiet. This door slits to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. I can cut all the chains and find where the evidence is hidden. Really? And you mention it only now, you stupid fuck. I... Uh... <laughs> ah, very scary. Ooh. Hey, Dean, welcome, welcome to the stream. <clears throat> yes, Riggs. He has a fucking angle grinder. And I was searching for a small key to open a wooden box. Fuck off. I don't care. Close the doors all you want, you stupid fucking cunt. I have angle grinder and... Uh, I'm playing as a brain that YouTube fucking blogger. This place won't let me go. I have to finish what I started. Ah yeah, so like the door disappeared. Did he fucking stole my angle grinder through the window? Or is it just like a... You know, coincidence. It... Like, the angle grinder disappeared when the motherfucker ran uh, across the window as if he, like, stole my angle grinder. <laughs> yeah, I have angle grinder. I don't give a shit. Seriously, you had angle grinder. <laughs> now this is a doom. Where's like the BFG Division soundtrack? Now everybody is fucked here. <clears throat> Can I angle grind this? Apparently I don't. Can't. <laughs> I 
Ruach, 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 ruach. Водка. Русская водка. Russian vodka. I actually drank Russian vodka exactly this one. It's fucking disgusting. It's just, you know, like alcohol with water. It's a pure product. It's a pure product made with the only purpose. Get wasted. Я не знаю, доживу ли я до утра, потому что сегодня смена мне не дает покоя. Сегодняшняя смена мне не дает покоя. Я хочу отсюда сбежать, но тогда мне не заплатят. Я слышу голоса, как будто я здесь не один. Мне казалось, что я видел женщину, вернее, ее силуэт. Силуэт или тень. Она прошла сквозь шкаф в стену. Я боюсь идти за ней и отодвигать шкаф. Не хочу проверять, правда ли это или может это все мое воображение, которое обострилось после... После стакана водки. After the glass of водка. В любом случае, там... Висят какие-то поделки из перьев и паутины. Я также... Я такие на, нигде не видел. Выглядят они жутко. Да, и пахнет оттуда как-то... Как будто мертвечиной. Ладно, выпью еще стакан и лягу спать до утра. Окей. Okay. Basically, the guy starts uh, hearing voices and seeing shit. And points to the uh, closet with the stuff from feathers that we've seen already. I don't know if I'll make it uh, to the morning because today's shift is bothering me. Uh, I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman, woman, more like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her. And move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true or maybe it's just my imagination, which has sharpened, mm, sharpened, not sharpened, but more like uh, how would you say it? Getting more nervous, you know. It it get like it get not sharpened but edged. It get on the edge after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet, wait some products <laughs> made of feathers and cobwebs. Cobwebs. I have never seen them anywhere. They they look terrible and it smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. Sharpen the correct board. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, the translation kind of sucks on this one. Basically, the guy is, hears voices and sees like a silhouette of woman that goes right through the closet and kind of scares the fuck out of him he afraid to move this closet or check anything out all he wants is to just drink himself into sleep into sleeping but he talks about this closet about this closet and it smells like dead things from this closet oh yeah there is actually like as if it's written something there you know looks like a writing definitely not Gala though something else Oops. okay okay I see mm -hmm. what else hmm Window, perfect for screamers. Another letter. Let's first look around. There's some kind of a refrigerator here, and uh, I have angle grinder, you bitch! <laughs> knock, knock, motherfucker! I should could like the battery of the angle. 
What the fuck is the battery? I have a gasoline somewhere here. Соблюдайте тишину и keep quiet. I have angle grinder. This shit is heavy. Even if it doesn't technically work, I can still beat the shit out of people. Я знаю, что поступаю плохо, но у меня нет выбора. Я должна спасти своего сына в баню. Мне повезло, что Алексей Сергеевич согласился помочь. Я не должна его подвести. Никто не должен знать о наших делах. Uh, this is letter by the director of the orphanage, who wants to save her son Ivan. And yeah, she basically agreed to help Alexei Sergeyevich to sell kids' organs in exchange for, I guess, heart transparent, transplant. That's, I mean, we know all that, but we need evidence. I guess this is evidence, right? I guess these are evidence. But there are no evidence of the fact that Yakov didn't poison everyone. That was, it was someone, somebody else. Maybe it was those ghosts. Any screamers from the window? You're missing the opportunity. As you always do. Mm, I think this is like the operational room. I, I don't know. Probably not with gas, but with gasoline. Well, I guess it, then it will have to have, you know, the huge, huge, huge fucking engine. So it will probably be very heavy. So yeah, it's either like battery or an actual, uh, I guess, power source. So yeah, that, that makes sense. The battery running out. Probably right. I have angle grinder, you bitch. What if they will kidnap me and sell my kidneys? That would be fucked up. Я не успела его спасти, я не верю, этого не может быть, это не мой Ванечка, я спасу его, мне нужно срочно найти донора. Oh, I think she actually... I think she actually lost her child, which is pretty, pretty fucked up. Oh yeah, you're actually right, Dean. I didn't have time to save him. I couldn't save him in time would be more correct translation. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Vanichka. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently, quickly. Well, I guess he died. Yeah, Pitted, you are correct. But I mean, uh, I mean, I, I can forgive that. I can forgive that. Like the atmosphere of the old Soviet Union, like you know, the, the horror, horror in the settings of, in Soviet setting, I, I can uh, forgive this uh, kind of, you know, technical difficulties. So this doesn't bother me that much. I, I won't give the game shit over that. I have angle grinder. I fucking warn you, bitch. Just so you know. Just so you fucking know. I have shitty night vision, but I have angle grinder. Ooh. What's that? This is a candle, but it, they can't lit it. Oh, you see English. Machine wash cold and hung dry. To avoid self fuck suffocation a uh, suffocation. Keep this bug away from adults and children. What? Do not use this bag in con conditions below freezing as insulation something something. But yeah. <laughs> hey Kuro. Hello, hello. You were playing the spooky game, not Laura Mipson. Yeah, this game has a very good attention to details. All the assets are, are amazing. That's actually a very, very strong point of this game. Holy shit, he drank a lot of vodka before going to bed. And apparently he kind of shot himself. So yeah, don't drink too much vodka. 
so how do I get there? Like I keep hearing these footsteps there. But it's still oh but it's still kinda cool. Oh I can can I no? No, I can't. I cannot. This guy to was talking about moving the closet, but I can't even get to the closet. A battery ran out on the angle grinder, so I can't angle grind this. So yeah, I guess we just need to continue wo working towards towards what? Maybe there's like a batteries here. Can I like exchange the batteries? No? No battery? Alright. What's that? It's some kind of food. Why is this in English though? Something sweet. Hmm. This is not immersive. This should be like, you know, all Soviet. <laughs> yeah, I thought it's Tushonka as well. But apparently it's something something American. Sweet peas. Alright, let's continue here. I probably missed something here. Oh, I probably should have... Ah oh, yeah, she couldn't save her son. Maybe I missed something here. Oh, let's go. I maybe don't have angle grinder, but I have other kind of grind. Okay, bitch, I have uh, manual grinder. I'll fucking kill you, bastard. Come over here. Doom soundtrack kicking in. You know? Like BFG Division. Ah, fuck! Not scary. Bolt cutters. No, I remember Russian word. But I don't remember how it's in English. Yeah, this kind of a cheap screamers I'm talking about. Like, they're scary when they go out, but they, you know, they actually give you a feel, like a relief. So you're not on the edge anymore. <coughs> it's like a little spooky. Не курить на лестничных клетках и холлах запрещается. Uh, the word hall. I have problems with that. I don't think somebody, anybody wrote the word hall in Soviet Union. But yeah, it's basically do not, don't smoke. Uh, this is a toilets, bathrooms, and it's closed, but I have... Uh, yeah. Oh, thanks for opening the door for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, so since uh, the recent screamer was uh, right right now, the second one isn't scary anymore. Oh, Nivalashka, hello. Mm, toilet paper, very convenient. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't smoke. A year later, after events of 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital, but with budgets cut, it stopped working again. Typical Soviet Union. No money for medicine, so we, because we build bombs. You know how it goes. Oh, nice. Can I? I thought so. And here's where the ghost lady came. Uh, 
what if Ghost Lady is actually the director? That's some kind of voodoo bullshit. Yep. Some kind of a ritual. Satanic bullshit. How had her body not decomposed after all these years? This is a very good question. Oh yeah, right. I got, you know, stuck in here. I have a suspicion that maybe the main protagonist got poisoned with the gas too. Okay, let's read. Oh yeah, this is like her diary. Here documents uh, Alexei Sergeyevich uh, from 1958. Um, Alexei Sergeyevich, about whom Marina, Maria spoke, replied to her that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then was then what was the case in question? And who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There's something else, the death certificate document. This is her son Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with the reality, poor woman, yeah. Yeah, this is death certificate. Свидетельство о смерти Российской Советской Федеративной Социалистической Республики. Ivan Petrovich. And the last name is kind of crossed. Yeah, he died uh, the 1st of October of uh, 1950. At the age of seven years. Trio Olympia Logishna Yeah, like um he got like um a clot, blood clot. Is it kind of called like a blood clot? Like trump trauma. Yeah. Yeah. And she tried to fucking resurrect him or what? Oh, okay, she, she's gone. Yeah, this is apparently like... Child's corpses. Maybe, maybe. Пусть тот, кто меня найдет, почувствует, какую боль перенесла мать, потерявшая свое дитя. Я приклинаю всех, кто не смог мне помочь, и я не собираюсь так просто уходить, я вернусь. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me, and I'm not just going to leave, I'll be back. What she meant by that, and how she would return, Maria, I'm so sorry. Yeah, this is actually kind of fucked up. She actually lost, lost any touch with reality. All this voodoo, all this voodoo stuff. <laughs> you can throw anything in the bathroom, and there's like a fucking corpse in the bathroom. What else is there? This is like a lamp. Okay. A knife. From like a bat wing. Need to get out of here as soon as possible. So will there be like a um, escape sequence? <laughs> I don't actually know. But yeah, regardless, that's kind of fucked up, not gonna lie. Ah, not scary, not scary, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, it technically doesn't say that you can't throw a body into the toilet. So yeah, she killed all the children to kind of... What? Resurrect the son or get some kind of revenge? Like, who did she want to get a revenge? And then she wanted to return as a ghost. Now he will turn around and there will be a ghost. Like, boo. Okay. 
three weeks later. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't interact with her body. <clears throat> I found the game of logger leaves. Oh, it's three weeks. So he came back to the... Oh, we need to save Yakov. We also need to check if the cats are okay. Remember the cats? But they have the poor guy he had to live in the fucking... Here, like in this fucked up pioneer camp all alone for like 60 years. That's kind of fucked up though. Yakov, my boy. I am here. I have come here to save you. Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you will be found and accused of something that you didn't do. I've taken care of everything. I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. Protect this place further. Now it is rightfully only your home. Your friend Alex Morton. Is this a happy end? I'm glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yaka find peace and freedom. You can read about uh, this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history, where witches used to live. And there I will have an unusual case, I will tell you about it later. So it's I guess like a cliffhanger for the next game from this developer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe there wasn't any person. I mean, that was a pretty cool game. Like, for a solo developer game, yeah, developer Alexander Reshetnikov. <laughs> Unreal Engine Marketplace. Yeah, he just bought uh, assets from Marketplace. Like, didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and outsource some music. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, art direction is absolutely outstanding. The story has its, you know, ups and downs and the presentation, but it, I definitely, I haven't, uh, um, I haven't regretted the buying, buying this. Oh. So is Yakov real or not? After all, <laughs> I guess we'll never know. A few days later, ooh. Okay. It's not an end. From day to day. What's that? Is he like uh, went to another fucked up place? I had to wait for the person who bought this house. But after his arrival, a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless. I am trapped here. I don't think that woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have a pendulum for people like her? What if other spirits followed me? Maybe that's why I didn't find anyone in those houses. I miraculously managed to escape from that abandoned orphanage, but I am not sure that I will be released now. We need to try to get out and warn that guy that it's dangerous to stay here. What? It's like uh, the blogger kind of had a brain damage. <laughs> or what? The battery is dead. Is it like his diary or what? I had to wait for the person who bought this house, but after his arrival a few days later. Spill it. A woman from shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Is this like his diary or whose?
ensure kind of a skeletons. Oh, he got the knife. And maybe the knife has like, you know, her fucked up spirit. And now he's like all fucked up too. Oh yeah, and this thing from the closet. And Jesus be Jesus. Oh yeah, maybe it's actually poorly translated. Hmm, can I? I I can't, right? I can't change the uh, language on the fly. Yeah, I can't. I don't want to exit the game. I like don't know where the checkpoints are. I mean, he probably like. Oh, here's your hello. Hey, where are you? I will take the knife and fucking fuck fuck her up. Maria. Phew. To be continued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like a post credit scene. Yeah, apparently poor video blogger kind of got what he deserved. <laughs> Yeah, alright, alright. Yeah, 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 that was a very cool game. For solo project, that's like very, very good. I <clears throat> I haven't uh, regretted a single single moment spent there.